Hello, I'm Chairman of the Railroad Commission of Texas, and it's my honor to be here uh, for the Governor of Texas and for the Railroad Commission. Uh, we issued 912 permits to drill in July, bringing our total year to date to 7,166. We currently have 4 and 55 active rigs. As of August 1st, Texas had 175,101 producing oil wells, 89,068 producing gas wells, and over 35,000 injection disposal wells. So far this year, Texas has produced an average of 3.67 million barrels of oil per day and 24.6 million megacubic feet of natural gas per day. Uh, the Railroad Commission's state mandated well plugging program hit historic numbers, beating the legislature's performance measure two years in a row. This biennium, our agencies plugged 3,134 abandoned wells as of August 22nd, funds coming from fees paid by the energy industry, not from Texas taxpayers. Our oil and gas inspectors exceeded the five-year inspection target and met the goal of 130,000 inspections this year. One of our commissioned agencies' uh, number one objective was to increase our overall staffing level to a sustainable level. For years, we were having trouble hiring and retaining qualified personnel as the industry can always pay more than government does. And we we're having trouble doing that, so we fought hard to bring more pay parity and create career tracks within our agency. That's key to attracting and retaining staff. And we are currently sitting at the highest head count in recent history, 808 up from less than 700 when I came to the agency about three years ago. Our vacancy rate is now 3%. As production has increased, our need for inspectors has also gone up. We now have the highest number of inspectors out in the field in the history of the agency. By growing our inspector ranks, we are now on track to inspect every oil and gas well at a minimum of every five years. We have kept our drilling permits turnaround time from two days for the down to two days for the past two years, reducing it from a high of 10 days. Earlier this year, we launched the RRC Inspector Training School, Boots on the Ground, graduated more than 40 new inspectors. This training focuses on making sure our rules are enforced the same way across the state. And all of our inspectors are proficient and have the same standards. Texas conducts its legislative sessions five months and odd years, and so we just survived the sessions. Uh, our highest, biggest victory this session was they gave us $27 million for IT and mainframe transformation. Our bold IT modernization plan will transition the commission out of the decade-old mainframe technology completely in the next few years. The plan includes further automation, uh, automation of many of the key processes oil and gas operators must follow by permitting and reporting. It reduces the administrative burden on operators, saving them time, money, and reduces the processing time for our staff, saving us time and taxpayers money. Over the last biennium, we have made great progress in modernizing our IT with the launch of our online inspection lookup system. For the first time, anyone anywhere can use the Commission's website to search the inspection and violation history of oil and gas wells in Texas. Critical information is now available to the public with just the click of a mouse. We also brought four major oil and gas forms online and have a docket management system in the queue to go live this Thursday. And as you know, and this is, this is very uh, humbling and impressive, believe it or not, to a Texan. As you know, last year, the largest oil and gas find in the history of the world was reassessed in West Texas. Currently, of the seven zones or layers that they've discovered in the Permian Basin, the top four, uh, previous to this, the entire amount at disposal in the United States of America of, of oil reserves was 40 billion barrels. In the first four layers of this new find, it's over 46 billion barrels. So it's pretty historic for the United States.